Hello and welcome to All My Art and Soul. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is of Earth and Sky number 11. And um, when I start uh, my Earth, of Earth and Sky pages, I usually uh, collect uh, a bunch of uh, collage pieces like the ones here that I'm showing you. And uh, I may or may not use all of them. And I love and need to find more uh, collage pieces with larger letters, numbers, etc. So right here, I'm putting in, uh, taping on the tape. It's going to frame it in, so at the end we can have some nice clean edges. So the size of this page is a 8x10, and I'm showing you uh, the, the acrylic paints that I use in the palette, which is uh, Titan Buff Orange and teal blue from Golden. And I've activated the surface by uh, words um, with a positive message, and I'm just gonna layer in uh, repetitive, saying the same thing. I forget what I've said here. Uh, it doesn't matter, but it's a positive message, and you can do the same. Um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, uh, art journal pages with positive, positive affirmations, check those out. They're on my YouTube channel. So I've used about three different colors here. And my plan is then to veil over them with a very thin, translucent layer of uh, Titan Buff mixed with a white, I think it's a titanium white, acrylic paint. And I'm just using small brushes just to apply it, um, but I usually go over it again with my brayer because it uh, creates a thinner layer and, of course, thinner layers dry more quickly. Okay, nice. Yeah, both directions. And just enough so you can see and, and I know they're there. The energy of the words are there, and that's what that's what matters. And I'm pausing, deciding what to do with the bottom half of the page, which will be uh, neutral and. Um, Coming in with uh, yellow ochre, which then I will make a couple of passes with my brayer as well. And as you can see, on the left, I have my Sharpie acrylic markers, I have my ink tints, and I have my uh, watercolor. Um, pastels, water soluble pastels. So as this builds, um, my palette uh, has a little pink in it, of course, pink, yellow ochre, orange, teal, and uh, with the neutral base, I'm uh, just going to see what I can come up with. Again, not thinking too much just responding. And uh, I noticed too, this for this page, I've paused a lot more than usual, um, trying to stop myself from not overthinking, which is, uh, which happens over time. It is, does not happen overnight. It has been a long struggle for me to um, not overthink about my work and to accept what's happened on the layer. If you don't like it, just put another layer over it. And that's why I've called my other previous works one layer at a time. One day at a time, one layer at a time, because that's how we get through this day, this life. <clears throat> and I also believe this process is also very reflective of our own life. So as you can see, 
I'm uh, also, I thought, okay, what can I put to counteract all of this horizontal energy action going on? I'll put in some vertical. Trying to maintain the same value. And as you can see, I like to mix, or I end up mixing um, right on the surface. It creates a really spontaneous, not overly planned look or feel. And I just responded. I have no idea. Beginning of each page, the only thing I'll do is grab the color palette, select some collage pieces, pause, form an intention, a positive intention, and then begin. That's it. So uh, this collage piece um, on the bottom right is a deli paper. And I love to make those, uh, those different pieces uh, with my jelly plate printer. So um, in my next video, I am going to do a series of collage papers uh, because I need some more. I'm running low. And uh, what a great time to show you how I make my own collage papers. I have three, three or four different methods. So this is some scrap booking uh, out of those pages of different colors that you purchase for scrapbooking. This was a nice neutral tone. And I liked how when you tear it, uh, the lighter value shows. And you can see I'm trying to get a torn edge, not a clean cut edge, and lay it in there, sort of to emulate what's already there. And when, when I'm thinking about these areas, these horizontal areas, um, I'm also thinking about difference. So thinking in thirds, up larger, smaller, and medium. And that's, that's why the eye likes what it sees. It knows what it sees. So setting this piece, I don't know if I go, no, I leave a little bit of the bottom showing, which is, which is sort of cool. And that's just a regular craft glue stick when I'm working with these collage pages that I choose to use, and I may or may not put a coat on the top. So I'm layering in many, a variety of neutral tones. This is my uh, stream writing pages, which is great. It's very cathartic. Uh, you can just write away in whatever writing tool you have, pages, you can repeat, whatever comes to mind. And then you have all this... Uh, and as you can text. see, I'm just uh, adding some, some more. End up staying uh, but stick, with, staying uh, in the neutrals in this staying, area just of this page. Nice antique feel. And for my glue, I'm just using so regular stick glue. To lay in, uh, um, it's fast. Um, and I uh, different sizes. Uh, usually uh, flip the piece so over, like glue it, put it down where I want to put it down, shape. and then put a little layer put on top. Anyway. Now I'm coming in with this beautiful piece um, of magazine that's yes. just like an and, aqua uh, blue. And some more uh, of my old collage of this old pages. Is, uh, now, this, this is sort of a negative space from uh, my own images that I take, take around my local trees, area. You might want to do the same sky, thing. Leaves, uh, just air, putting in those uh, aspects or the feeling of landscape. So, at first I put it up so I put it up there then to I start with. No, and I just, it, it, of course, different. obviously it's not I've, working. Uh, I've done several so, now, in the next few minutes, so I'm... Getting, so using some of that uh, Titan buff luckily to just smudge over, over those pages. And I move it down. That piece that you just saw is that hand crafted hand and, paper. Um, it's very transparent. This is that well, um, but it's very handcrafted paper. And it has bark. And it's very translucent. And it looks very interesting on collage. I've got, so I think, about three different and neutral shades. That art. So it's a good piece to use for veiling, papers, hiding, and still seeing the layer underneath. 
So I'm really liking the blue, that the pink, the ochre. Curved piece it's now. It's like, light, I'm so yellow. glad I decided to move so it down. Move it down much, much better. <clears throat> so I'm making a few adjustments there. And you can see I'm just putting a thin layer of glue on top. Now that leaves that upper area wide mm, open for anything. Make up my mind. Okay, yes. So this is also from uh, that old text that I found. So these were the papers the that I grabbed at the beginning of the, the video. These are that nice beige and with uh, it's not black this is and white, a piece of vertical and white, which awesome is stuff. really nice because it counteracts so again, all the horizontal vertical, just areas to have some more different textures or patterns. And it's from an old book of, of old bridges, which I absolutely I wonder, love. Um, I can't wait to be able to go out and find and some more. And sort of do your own journey. So this black and white piece is certain uh, my pages, own handmade, certain, um, again, symbols with uh, you can relate to. It's like a very start thick up manila paper. In your journal. And, and um, in start it's very and absorbent. And so any kind of paper is going to work. In, in that regard, is really good. Okay, so that is just about the black brown going over and then drizzling white. Handmade. I am going to show how I make my papers in the next video coming up. Smeared so white stay white tuned. And if you are enjoying this content, as I may say right now, please uh, like this video and subscribe if you haven't, because I am going to continue with this type of content. So, we'll figuring out which way. Sort of a rubber yes. spatula to I really it. like this. So it's blue on and blue, and so, very so to work with. playing with the but subtle, changing the shape of that. Uh, subtle the contrast of those, values. The contrast is too high. Trying to figure out what to put on the other side. Everything else. So, should I go symmetrical, asymmetrical? Uh, do both sides balance out? And I'm not so overthinking, it's more, just a feel. There's this, this magazine piece that I've used um, and and sky piece uh, previously. It. So, I see so it's gonna fit thinking of the same color values, but it work. doesn't, it just doesn't work. As you can see, I'm the just putting it all over. It's too high for this piece. And I don't end up very using delicate. it. Um, very delicate. And why? Uh, mostly because the eye so gets stuck I, there, there's too much contrast, just in my things. opinion, for this piece. So I'm just playing. As you can see, I started with different shapes and a so circle. I came up with my circle. Turned out to be orb. the best one. Uh, okay. At least I think so. <laughs> You'll see a lot of that in my work. Still trying to figure out where this piece is going to fit, and it doesn't. So as you can see, um, I've sped up this video to twice the speed. So my actions, you can see, my arms are it's a little glitchy, but otherwise it would be. So what I usually do, it would be like, quite um, a long video. Search out. So um, um, when you can. Uh, if you would like to watch video, uh, lockdown, longer videos so that aren't sped up um, or in time lapse, up. please leave a comment and, um, in so the comments under the, under the video and let me know. I would love to hear from you. Also, I would love to hear if we find of any more techniques or things that I've done so far that you would like to see so more of or haven't have seen yet. At our disposal. So we either make it or we already have it. So that's my plan. Okay, so this is this is building. This is getting there. Okay, so um just so I end up removing those. Thank goodness, because they were just still trying to side way too hot. How to handle and each now side. The piece can be, should I even so just leave it alone? Care. What should I do? Uh, and it's so good to know so why I think about isn't that. Working. No, this is all experience. It's just, and this is it's why just too dark. It's so good because it's just a place to play. And I love, and that's why collage works so well because you can just move things around. 
Okay, so um, some more blue on blue. It'll say that is okay. uh, so paper is made of stencils because it's already blue and letters, already numbers. I'm just showing but, a uh, with just a subtle contrast. So it's rather than it's uh, part of the say for instance black and white. So a piece has a larger, a big conversation and a small conversation. Okay, so some more writing. So now I chose to put that on the bottom because bottom. it just needed more it's weight. Some more text. If and now it's working, feeling more balanced. More of it, but notice that the uh, size at is it now. from the piece above. So I've added, decided to add, okay. So, so I decided to bring out that thing. shape, um, but stay so within the family of neutrals, a little like ochre. Really liking that. And all of a sudden, and in the eye. next few few minutes, you'll yeah, see so what I do with the sky. Is or sky air, you could call it a sky. It doesn't have to be a sky. Um, from a palette that I'm working with, with my and that's my palette on the side. And I do have some Payne's gray, so just over next to the teal there, under the branches. So I'm just going over with more some of white, um, handcrafted balancing, giving that more so of a to lighten my horizontal light shape and on each side. I like how I like it's it. not straight across. It has sort of a not slant totally straight to right it. Across. It has an organic feel to it. Mm. And this is the so, white Sharpie. These are the Sharpie um, markers. Posca, They're pretty good. Uh, I, sh I just have a feeling the Posca well. markers are going to be better because you can get them in different, and then I um, there's too much different widths of this. the nibs so at the end. I it up like I did, so I darkened the sky. And, oh, there's some of that some paper again. With that same and I think I'm going to again. end up Making the sky very and dark at the top, just some giving it a little more contrast. Uh, marker or some small little dots. So here's the big reveal. This is my favorite. Oh. And now for the so reveal. Some nice I love this edits. part when I take the tape off. This is so a again, I will just number title it. A birth so in sky, videos, number eleven. Don't forget to like, May seventh, share, twenty twenty one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And, and in the end, um, I did add a couple really of more details, grow, and it'll show in the um, image. Still and I'll see and you I'll in the next video. In the next video.